Did you know that there is only one country in the world with no government? <laughs> That's right. This place has no prime minister, no president, not even a king or queen. But how is this possible? Let me tell you the story of the biggest political mess in the world. The country made of ice, also called Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. The temperature can go down to minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 90 degrees Celsius. It has a huge volcano that shoots gold all over the continent. And no, Santa doesn't live there because Santa lives on the North Pole in the Arctic and Antarctica is all the other way down on the South Pole. No need to bring a watch here because there is no Antarctic time zone. It's just constant daylight six months a year during the summer and constant darkness the other six months during winter. This big block of ice is one of the most regulated places on Earth. You can only visit those spots. If you walk anywhere else, you'll get a $10,000 fine. And if you take anything home with you, even a tiny rock, you might go to jail for at least a year. Yes, Antarctica is crazy. This place has no government because it's not one country. It's actually seven. France, Argentina, Chile, Australia, New Zealand, Norway, and the UK all own a part of it. And other countries like the US, Brazil, Peru, or Russia also want a piece because Antarctica could be full of oil. And oil means money. Countries want it so badly that they came up with crazy strategies to claim it. Argentina flew a woman there who was seven months pregnant so that the first ever human to be born in Antarctica would be Argentinian. And Germany sent planes that dropped tiny little flags all over the continent to make sure everyone would get the message. Countries keep fighting about Antarctica to this day, but the one thing they all agreed on was to protect it. Yes, Antarctica could melt away within the next 500 years. Its beautiful ice, plants, and animals are all threatened by climate change and global warming. That's why only scientists and penguins are allowed to walk freely around here. Yes, Antarctica is a big, huge mess, but it's a beautiful one. Let's take good care of our planet so that our kids and grandkids can one day take a boat and maybe visit the huge continent made of ice.